Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Brennan or B Pug. Welcome back to Fortnite. Today I'm going to be showing you a very easy way to get your power level up. A lot of people are really confused on how they're going through the campaign and it's like, oh, I'm not at that recommended power level. I'm not at this or that. And there's a lot of things that also intertwine with your power level other uh, your your power level other than just playing the game itself. So if we go over here into our heroes, you're going to see I have a level 23 power level character. I have some other ones in here also. But the higher the level they are with your power level in this is going to be contingent on your statistics on that personal character. These are not going to affect your power level in the top left and all that. This is just the personal ones right here and the defenders are not going to do anything as well. So starting off right here, I never really understood what this stuff was. I never really did. All right, so we have like a rifle in here, like all this stuff. I never understood what this stuff is at all. So we're going to throw something in here. Nothing. Nothing changes and all that. Okay? Now check this out. We're going to go in our survivor squads. Alright, now here's the thing. I found out I really only had a pair with my course of engineering. So we're going to hop in right here real quick. Get a leader. Now as you can see, she's going to get a personality match and a, jo well, a job match with it and everything too. Uh, so the job match is going to be better. But when I put this in, check this out. Bam. I'm four. Okay, now let's go into this right here. So there's job match right here and everything. There's personality matches if you have them with the same personality and such right here also. But as you see, I don't really have like an actual fire team card yet. And you guys saw that I opened some packs. So packs aren't really going to like fully define what you're going to get, how you're going to get it and all that stuff. Um, it's very contingent on a lot of things. So usually you just want to... Stomp these in here, then you can throw another one on your squad. Now, see, these. this is right here where it's, it gets a little bit crazy because I have some really, really high-level ones that I can put in this, but not leaders. Like, my leaders aren't really, like, too much of anything at this point in time and all that. If you go in our squad right here, see, and if you, if you personality match them, it's going to work. So let me see. Like, she has the curious one and all that. Which would be, we're going to test this real quick. So if I do, if I do this one, okay, I do her, we're going to be at level 5, okay. Now if I do, let's see, him with him, so going to be like an early level 5 and everything. So what I've really like learned, I mean, if we're going to go back into this too, we're just going to double check this. So you're going to lose a little bit. So what I've learned is to just pretty much do like the highest level of these so far. I mean, definitely you want the personality match and all that in there to get some extra stats and everything. But these matter on your power level right here. We're going to throw these other ones in here as well. And the more of these that you unlock, the more your power level is going to go up and such and everything. You can see we're going to throw this one in here too. So just throwing these higher level ones in, I'm already 7, about to be 8. I was only like 4 or 5. And then you throw these in, and then you get more. So you, you want to try to get your job matches, your personality matches, because it's all going to benefit you more. And then you can upgrade all of these characters as well with stuff, which is going to make your power rating go higher and higher. So these definitely matter that you're going to get extra stats to yourself, if I'm correct with this. If I'm not correct, please correct me. But I think I'm correct with it. So all these are going to benefit your stats. And then you're going to get personality matches, which are going to increase your statistics even more. But if you're just looking to get that power jump and everything, then you definitely want to upgrade these, and it'll make things a tad bit easier for you. So like I said with these, you don't have to open packs to get stuff. A lot of these characters, a lot of my purples, to be honest with you. Like this guy, I didn't even get these out of packs. I opened a pack and got that one legendary and I think one or one or two epics, if that. But I got a lot, all of my stuff out of just playing the game, doing the missions. And you can always join someone else and play the missions with them. You know, it's all about just trying to get that high score for a better crate. And then you're going to get good stuff. And then you want to upgrade your things and all that. That's literally all it is, and then you can see all, all my survivors right here and everything as well. But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Hopefully this helped you out a little bit. I'm going to be doing some more guides and stuff very shortly for you. 
And if this video helped you out on getting your power level up to help you progress through the game a little bit more, please let me know, guys, down below. Any other questions, leave them. I'll try to do a video if I can. But otherwise, be sure to subscribe, leave a comment down below, share the video with your friends, leave a like if it helped out, leave a dislike if it didn't help at all for you. And uh, check out my Twitter and everything else down below. Much appreciated, guys. Thanks for watching once again, friends.